everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are starting a new series. It's kind of a remake of an old series and that is something that I'm going to be calling beauty crushes. It's kind of like my replacement for favorites. So I have a couple of different rules with this that kind of make it a little bit different from what I've done in the past, maybe different from what you see on other channels. The first is that I'm not calling it favorites because I feel like that's a little disingenuous because Oftentimes when we're like just into a new product, it's not necessarily like our new favorite of all time. Like to me, makeup favorites should be like something that you really know frontwards, backwards and inside out and you've used that product a lot. So a good example of like a favorite for me would be like this duo black adhesive. I love this stuff, it's latex free. It's been working out for me for years. I have bought multiple tubes of it. To me, that's a makeup favorite, but there are Oh, so many times where I want to talk about new products and I don't know if I'm going to get around to like making a whole video about this one product. So I want to kind of have this kind of update where I can share with you guys new products that I'm testing out or that I like, that I have a little crush on. Maybe even let you guys know about things that I'm going to be testing for a future review. Um, and I've got all that today. So I also wanted to use this as a way to kind of connect with you guys and, and have like channel updates and things like that. Um, the other thing that's going to set this apart is that this is a series that will never be sponsored. So in the past I have done sponsored videos for my favorites and I just wanted to have like one series that's completely non-spawn and also that way you guys know if I say something's my favorite I really genuinely like it. Now with that said I will be including things I get in PR because I just don't buy that much makeup anymore. I have a ton of it I just don't feel the need to go out and buy a whole bunch more. With all that said let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually something that I did buy because I you know I guess I don't really buy that much makeup that much anymore but I did recently pick something up in the beauty realm and that is this kit from IGK it's called get lit it is a set that comes with three different uh hair care products I love IGK IGK <laughs> I love IGK hair products. This kit had the dry shampoo that I wanted to buy. I went to, to uh, Sephora.com to go ahead and buy the dry shampoo. This is my absolute all-time favorite dry shampoo, hands down, bar none, like end of end of story <laughs> greatest shampoo because it really absorbs oil. It gives you a little bit of grip and texture, but not that icky sticky kind. And it doesn't give me that white cast, but it does. It just it just does something I don't know like it just it always makes my hair look better so this is my absolute favorite I was out of it for a while it was a very sad period in my life we are now reunited so I went to Sephora.com just to purchase that alone which is $27 and they had this kit that was $29 and it came with these bonus products and I was like well I love IGK so why not get this and try some of their other products out? So the first uh, in the little set is the Low Key Cleansing Walnut Scalp Scrub. And the other one is Mistress Anti-Frizz Leave-In Conditioner. I haven't used either of these yet. I haven't gotten around to them. This is the first time I've pulled them out of the package. So very, very, very excited to try these. I, I want to try a whole bunch. Like if, if somebody, like it, that's one like brand that I could probably just spend a month testing out their products and be such a happy camper because I've never used anything from them that I didn't like. I've always liked, at least liked them, if not loved their products. I also like this one because it comes with 6.3 ounces, which is a lot more product than a lot of other dry shampoos on the market. And it like the can actually physically feels heavy in comparison to others that I've used recently. So that's kind of exciting. Um, the next thing that I want to share, I have all, all these things laid out in front of me. So it's like, mm, what do I share? What do I share? What do I do? Um, the next thing I want to share is something that was sent in PR. There is this kit from It Cosmetics. It comes with this bag. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The bag doesn't thrill me. It's just like a, a boring plastic bag. It's, it's, um, it's whatever's. But the brushes um, are pretty great. I think that the It Cosmetics brushes are some of the best on the market. They are uh, synthetic. They just do a really good job of mimicking natural hair in the way they lay down products. It's very smooth, it's very soft. Um, I love them. I don't know what to say. These are just like the newest version. There's nothing particularly remarkable or special about these compared to there are other brushes, so if you'd prefer to buy them individually, knock yourself out, babe, do that, or don't buy them at all. I don't really care. But um, 
I do really like these and I think that they're quite worthy of your time, attention, and money. And these are $35 for the set. So that is kind of what sparked interest in me and the reason why I wanted to share it with you. It with you. And also Gabrielle, my best friend at Girl, I know that you like these at Cosmetics Brushes. Hello, this set's 35 bucks and is rose gold. <laughs> Get on it, girl. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is this concealer from Smashbox. This is another thing that was sent to me in PR. Um, this is the Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. So this has a really wide sh uh, shade range. What I love about this concealer is that it dries down to a beautiful finish that's demi matte. It has a really nice viscosity to it. It's like the thickness of the product. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's just right. I've tried a lot of concealers that are have like a very very thin texture, and I understand the thought process behind that is to not add a lot of texture but sometimes just a tiny bit of texture is good to help smooth things out but I've also had the flip side and had like really thick concealers which look really cakey on the skin. This rides that balance of, of not being too thick not too thin and the applicator for it is very cool. So do you see the shape of it? It's thin on one side fat on the other and it has an arrowhead type sheep to it. They also do this for their liquid lipsticks and stuff. I think that Smashbox is one of the brands that's just really killing it with products these days. I love this concealer. It works flawlessly with all of my foundations. Oh, flawless is in the name. Darp. That was not planned, I swear. Next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I purchased. Um, you guys saw my video. I ripped my eyelashes out or makeup tutorial fail or whatever I ended up calling that. So I wanted to get some more individual lashes or like the little lash trios. Just kind of really explore this more because it's something that even though I've been doing makeup now for like over a decade, it's, it's so weird to me to even think about I really haven't messed with or with individual lashes that much. And so I wanted to get these ones from Kiss because Kiss is my favorite lash brand in terms of like inexpensive ones. And these ones came with extra short and shorts, this little kit right here. So I got this on Amazon. I'll go ahead and have a link to it in the description down below. I love these. I use them today. They were incredibly easy to use. And I use them with my duo lash glue that I love. This is the um, brush on adhesive with vitamins in the dark shade. They also have and a light. This is latex free. It doesn't have the same thing, the same issue that I have with the glue in my I ripped my lashes out video. It never happens with this so I don't have to worry about that and my lashes turned out pretty darn good today. Let me go ahead and zoom in and show you guys. Those are my papers. Can you even see my tracks? Oh no, but you can see my mascara squeeps. Okay, anyway, <laughs> quit bragging. <laughs> Next thing I want to share is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I've actually had this for quite some time, but as I've been going through my makeup collection and getting rid of things, there have been a couple things that just didn't make the cut. And there have been some things that I wasn't sure, I, like I, my initial thought was I want to keep this for the packaging. And I said to myself, that's not good enough. That is not an acceptable reason to keep makeup anymore. I had to have a little like heart to heart with myself. So I was like, okay, if I'm going to keep this thing, I have to actually use it. And I rediscovered that I actually really love this product. Um, so in, on the inside, you have a mirror, you have a sculpting powder contour, and you have a highlight powder. Uh, the highlight powder has a really beautiful, like subtle glow. It's what I'm wearing today actually kind of like might have applied a lot of it so it's pretty shiny you can really tailor make it to what you want it to be Speaking of complexion actually this is a perfect segue into my next thing um so my hair is currently whatever shade this is which is kind of purple um i i had green and rose gold hair like a seafoam minty green and then for some reason, I was like, let's go purple now. And I used a little bit of Pravana and a lot of conditioner. Pravana Violet, which is a very intense, just vivid, vivid, intense purple. Um, almost like a saltier eye holes with the intensity of that color. So I, I sheared it out with a lot of conditioner. And at this point, it's faded a lot. I've been using heat styling a lot, which will kill your color very quickly. And it's kind of intentional because I'm, I'm intending to do something new with it soon. But in the meantime, I'm having this sort of existential weird moment where like makeup doesn't look good. Most of my blush colors don't look right. Most of my red lipstick doesn't look right. It's freaking me out. I can't handle it. 
So this is as close to red lipstick as I can get. And this is technically, we can call this a red. This is Revlon's Fire and Ice. This is another one that made the cut when I was doing all of my decluttering. And I do apologize that the decluttering videos haven't come out yet. It's a personal process for me. My makeup, I, I, I'm just a freak. I love makeup. So getting rid of it is like, not to sound totally superficial, like, oh, I'm crying over my lipstick. But it's, it's also a little bit of like, when you grow up, without a lot of money you kind of always have this poverty mindset and that's what kind of leads you to hoard or to over collect if you want to use that term instead of hoarding if it makes you feel better sure honey whatever but in all seriousness um the, the process has been slower for me than even I would like but it's getting to the point where it's 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 coming it's soon. <laughs> so anyway, as I've been going through my lipstick, not everything has made the cut, but this Fire and Ice from Revlon has. The packaging's amazing. This lipstick's old. This individual tube I've had for a while. But you know what? The lipstick, the lipstick hasn't turned and that's the most important thing. S give it the sniff test. As long as it smells okay, I say you're okay to put it on your, your own individual lips. If you're working as a professional, that's a whole different ball game. So the reason why Fire and Ice has been working for me is that it's a very orange-based lipstick. In fact, I even used an orange-based lip liner to go with it to really kind of drive it home. And so I've been really into a lot of different orange lipsticks lately. Tilt from Urban Decay, um, Out Loud from Smashbox, which is like a spiced uh, pumpkin color. It's just fantastic. Um, trying to think what else I've been wearing. Lady Danger. Just a lot of anything orange. Like if it's orange, I'm there. That's been my jam lately because my hair is so cool toned. When I wear red, it looks really severe and harsh and garish and like, what's that about? So I think it's partially because my hair has a gray tone to it right now. A lot of my roots are showing, which are sort of like a really, I'm sort of starting to come to like the sort of brown gray look that they have to them. I've been feeling kind of ugly. I know you guys are probably going to be like, what? Like, and you know, I, I talk about beauty and I'm all about having self-confidence and more importantly, self-love. And I definitely still love myself, but like just going to do makeup and then having it look terrible has made me feel really bad about myself. It's like, what, 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 what's the problem here? Like, why isn't this working out for me? And if I'm being completely honest, that's probably why there haven't been a lot of makeup tutorials is because... When I sit down to play with makeup, it just isn't turning out right unless I do it in a very neutral kind of way. Like I'm wearing very neutral eyeshadow again because that's the only thing that's working for me right now. Anyway, m moving on. Urban Decay came out with this new line of brow products and I'm a little bit obsessed with it. Um, it has this what's this called brow blade one that has the marker tip on one side it's a brush tip applicator it's a very very fine one so I've used different ones like from Mac and stuff that had a little bit thicker of a pen and this one's much thinner by comparison so I definitely appreciate that and then on the other side of the same product there's a pencil so this is perfect you can get those brow hair strokes and you can also make it your life a little easier and fill in when you just need to fill in it's awesome to have it all in one product. The other thing they came out with in that range is uh, this Brow Endowed. It's a primer and then a color brow gel on the other side. So the primer is actually my favorite part. The brush on this is extremely small. What that does is because it's so small, it really kind of like hugs and tugs onto the brow hairs. I am thinking about doing a video about this, but I just don't know. Like, is are, are brows like a really big thing anymore? Does anyone want to see a video about that? I don't know, but I really like this product. And because my hair has like a natural, like grayish, ashy tone to it, I actually like to use this product sometimes, just the primer and not the colored brow gel because sometimes that can be really intense. I did use the colored brow gel today. I used this one, um, Taupe Trap for both the, um, let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see my brows. Very, very minimal brow fill today. It's not OTT, but, um, So you can see my brows today. I use the pen, I use the pencil, I use the primer and the brow gel and they don't really look overdone and that's exactly what I like. I like a very simple looking makeup at this stage of my life. I like things to look pretty neutral and um, natural but most importantly I just want to look pretty. So <laughs> this has been something I've liked because it doesn't have that Instagram brow effect. I am going to be testing out a new skincare line called Good Molecules. Uh, this just launched at Beautylish. It's like a whole system. I think there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's seven products that I'm testing out. So I wanted to let you guys know about this. It's an inexpensive skincare line. 
kind of like The Ordinary, since this is not sponsored or anything, I can actually say that I think it's very similar to The Ordinary in terms of the, you know, this product does this and this product has this ingredient instead of getting a product that has a whole lot of things in once. I've been using this now for a week, so I can give you guys a first impression and so far, so good. I have noticed that there were a lot of things I wasn't doing when I was using the Smackney skincare line, which I still love and still totally recommend for acne. It's a really good skincare line. So if you want to go ahead and check out that Smackney video, um, I'll have it linked in the description if you want to check it out. That's what I've been using on my skin now since last August. And so I had kind of eliminated a lot of my more specialty products like my niacinamide uh, serum and stuff, especially with all the weird stuff that was going on with The Ordinary. I'm not even going to get into that whole sad thing. Um, but I was really excited to see this new brand that was coming out with Beautylish that had that same kind of concept. So I want to let you guys know about what comes in the actual system itself. So you have a hyaluronic acid serum, you have the niacinamide serum, you have the overnight exfoliating treatment, the super peptide serum, lots of serums, uh, a wake up eye serum, 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 serum. I feel like I'm gonna like go crazy. Um, ultra hydrating facial oil and squalane oil. So I hope I'm pronouncing squalane prep correctly. In any case, I, as I said, I've been using this now for about a week. I really, really like it. I noticed that my pores seem a little bit smaller. I mean, they're definitely not perfect. A girl's got skin issues, but um, I, you know, I think that this is going to be interesting to continue to test this out for the next month. So look for that video probably in April, if not in May. I'm not sure how long I'm going to test the system out before I do a, re a review for it. Um, okay, so anything else. I've got all these things in front of me. So the next thing I want to talk about is a hand lotion. This is from Aveda. This is the hand relief lotion. This is one that I have bought again and again and again, and it's just my favorite hand lotion. It's non-greasy. It soaks in really well. It smells amazing. I can't say enough about it. It's a cult classic for a reason. So that's, I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. If I'm being honest with you guys, I don't even really know what's in it. I really, really, truly don't. This is not something where I've highly, uh, you know, uh, researched it or anything like that. This was actually recommended to me by my mother-in-law. So hi, Deborah. Hi. Um, she used it. I actually bought it for her for a gift one time because she liked it so much. And I bought myself a little sample at the same time. And I was like, holy crap, this stuff is awesome. So I definitely have my mother-in-law to thank for loving this lotion. And, um, you know, looking over the ingredients, everything looks pretty good. Um, it's you've got licorice root in it, and I'm a gal that loves her licorice. So this is one of those instances where I have never really associated, like, being a beauty blogger with this product. It's just been like, that's my hand lotion. And so, um, yeah, it's one of the rare instances where, like, I don't have a whole lot to say about it. It's just, it's a great product, and I recommend it. Okay, so my next beauty crush is actually not a beauty product specifically maybe um but just like a style of doing my hair and that is these curls so these are acquired by using a tiny 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 curling iron a one quarter inch curling iron it is for reference it's about as big around as uh this tube of lash glue so it's very tiny um and that is what produces these little teeny tiny ringlety curls and i've recently kind of developed a method for doing it in this much more sort of naturalistic kind of look um i really 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 dig it because it gives me like mega volume and everything the only thing that i don't like about it is that it is a color killer it will just zap all of the color out of your hair as heat styling is wont to do but also um it's very drying because it's a lot of heat contact so it's definitely not something i can do all the time but oh oof, i love it a subscriber recently sent me something and i I don't tend I don't tend to like share this kind of thing because I don't want you guys to ever feel like I'm pressuring you to send me gifts. I that's that's never been my intention. You can actually see her right here. Um, a wonderful subscriber named Carol sent me. Oh gosh, she's so delicate. I don't want to. She sent me this absolutely freaking fantastic lady head vase. She is so so beautiful. I cannot even believe that she's mine. Thank you so much. I love her to, 
I'd say love her to death, but that sounds a little morbid. I just adore her so much. Thank you. So she's going to be sitting right here, at least for the time being. I don't know if I'm going to leave her here or if she's going to come live upstairs with me. I just don't know. I was inspired actually by her schmear lips today to do my own version of the schmear. It's a little bit I Love Lucy. It's a little bit Joan Crawford. I'm here for it. So in addition to that, she also sent me this amazing hat pin holder and a whole bunch of hat pins. And I needed to share this with you guys because it's such a special gift and it's so meaningful and so perfect for me. She sent me a letter and she asked me not to read it on camera, which is why I'm not going to, but I just want to say thank you. That was so sweet. The last thing that I want to share with you is actually some PR that I got that I'm not going to keep and I'm going to give away to you guys. So I recently was sent a really awesome box from ColourPop. It came with a big box of lippy pencils. It looks like a box of Crayolas. I die. I die. Um, I am going to be keeping these because if memory serves, I think I liked these, but they just kind of got dry fast. So I ended up getting rid of a lot of these when I did my big like beauty product declutter. However, um, they also sent me this big bag of the So Juicy lip glosses. And these look so tempting, but I believe that these are a plumping lip gloss. And um, I, I can't hang with the plumping lip gloss. I'm, I've been around the block with beauty products enough to know that me and, and plumping lip gloss, we just don't get along. So rather than try them and dislike them, I just decided to go ahead and give them away. So I'll be giving these away on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Vintage or Tacky, so you, go, you guys can go ahead and check that out under this photo and go ahead and enter the giveaway through that. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm Cora Diane. Just be kind to yourself and others. See you. Bye